Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being self-taught. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, if a person can self-learn computer programming, why do many take the computer major? Why? What does college teach them in four years, years which they can't learn by themselves? Well, nothing. Because everything that college can teach you te is possible to learn by yourself. It's just that it's a more streamlined process, and the odds of you uh, getting uh, like hitting all the marks of all the things that you need in order to be a very proficient software developer is going to be hit. It's not 100% true all the time because some schools are better than others, but the general uh, it's sort of like say asking. Why, since uh, you can go and pick apples by yourself out in the wild, why don't you do that? Why do you pay money to get them at the store? It's more convenient. They're all in a nice little basket or like somewhere, you know, so etc. etc. There are benefits to doing it that way. And college is the same sort of deal. The thing that self-taught uh, self -taught developers sometimes don't fully realize is that just because you can go and take a boot camp and that boot camp is a certain you know just a few months or something like that that really doesn't mean that you are worth much to the industry on the other hand the same thing is true for college students just because you have a degree that doesn't mean that anybody's going to want to hire you it's down to talent, it's down to your ability to produce results and prove to people, especially in the early days, that you really want this and that you really want to do it professionally and you're willing to learn, you want to continue your education because whether or not you're self-taught or you're a college student, after four years of just quote-unquote studying, the odds of you being a proficient software developer is fairly low because it takes a long time to get really good at software pr development or programming. You can learn the basics and learn enough to write code and like programs and so forth, but to do it at a professional level, I mean, it's sort of like, as I like to say, it's uh, there are different levels of proficiency in something. And the difference between a college student, the average college student, some of them are really, really good, but the average difference between that or a self-taught programmer or and like a professional, a real professional, is like the sort. It's like having people who know how to ride, how to uh, drive go karts versus people who know, know how to drive Formula One or like a race course or NASCAR or whatever. It's a, at a whole different level because there's more code harder stakeholders to deal with like not just yourself or your teacher and uh, there's a lot more systems and technologies involved in the programs that you are building at the professional level and it takes time to learn that and that's not something that you're going to learn by just being in a learning context and that's the thing that I tell people that the most beneficial thing for your career is for you to get as quickly as possible to a point where you can do professional grade work because the courses that you get in college and the courses that you take online etc etc these are just preparations they are a taste of the thing that you're gonna do and that's great you need to start out that way in the beginning and as soon as you get you know enough knowledge so that you can actually do some real work the real work is usually better. It's better to bet on that. Uh, th that's not the whole truth, because then there's a second part to to this that a lot of self-taught programmers don't really understand sometimes. And I mean, the college kids has uh, sort of the same problem, right? And that is that you need to continue your learning after you actually get your first job. Because the really good programmers are usually either very inherently talented and they sort of just get it by themselves uh, but that's not the norm the norm is that it takes even after you have your first job several years before you become a mid-level software developer which is the sweet spot that's where you are able to 
basically build all the different systems that you need and you're able to produce code consistently you know how all the practices work and you know the lingo of the industry and you know how to deal with stakeholders all of that good stuff right it's um, like it's similar to being it become trying to become a doctor the prepare you can prepare as much as you want but you have to pass through the like you have to do an internship at the hospital like actually applying the knowledge is the thing that is going to make you into a real doctor and programming is in a similar way to be it's similar to being a musician in this regard where if you want to be if, if you go to music school and you just do music in school you're never going to become a rock star the people who go really far within music as artists are the people who are driven who actually put in more time more energy more effort than just the bare minimum and school is the bare minimum just as being self-taught and you know taking a few boot camps is the bare minimum and I meet on an almost daily basis <clears throat> candidates interviewing for different positions because these days I have that as a responsibility to do interviews and stuff like that where I can very clearly hear that they have massive holes in their knowledge and we can't hire them and they have jobs you know in different places and it's usually at companies who don't really know what the solid software developer looks like they don't really know what good software developers know and like what's relevant etc etc so it's not like you know it's impossible for you to get into the industry with subpar skills or things like that but if you want to feel fairly certain in that you will always have work you will always you know measure up to the expectations set by companies who have an understanding of what good software developers looks like it would good software developers look like uh, you're going to have to make sure that you continue your learning so that's why college is a very useful thing because a lot of the stuff that is necessary well it's not uh, necessary is a strong word but a lot of the theoretical parts of what a computer software developer needs to know that's what you're gonna learn in college for the most part a lot of that stuff self-taught developers are usually much more in line like this boot camps and so forth they're usually basically crash courses towards tooling tooling is very powerful it's very useful a lot of stuff is about tooling but mm -hmm. the theoretical parts they are very important as well and it's much harder for you to find content and um, how do I put this it, it, it's a more complicated subject for a lot of people to self-learn you can self-learn it but it is much simpler to have someone like a teacher or someone like that help you understand those concepts and that is why people usually take the college route mm -hmm. and I can promise you this guys some software developers who do the self-learning thing are very fortunate and they get in under four years into the industry but that's not the norm the norm is that it takes one to five years before you have what it takes in order to actually get a job within the industry and a college degree is usually a fairly strong thing to have on your CV to get into the industry and then also make sure that you are prepared to further go to to actually go further within uh, IT then you're a, going to be able to if you have these big holes because as I said uh, some developers they learn enough to get by in like low a low stake agencies or like s small companies here and there and so forth and they can sort of get by but they're never really going to be able to get to the point where they can work at the major companies or where they can like take charge of large scale projects and so forth and so forth because they have they do simply do not have this well-rounded profile with an understanding of both the tooling and the theory behind what they're doing and both of those two concepts are very necessary if you want to get to the higher levels of software development so what I want you to take away from this is that you can uh, the reason why people go to college is usually because it's a more streamlined process uh, some people don't really want to bet on that they will be able to self teach themselves into a future within IT it's similar to you know some people have a home gym because they 
like work out at home and some people want to go to the to the gym because they feel that that's a nicer environment uh, it helps them stay motivated etc etc it's a personal choice there's not really a right or wrong answer here because sure you can in theory get into the industry quicker than in four years but if you want to get really good at what you need to be good at in order to get to the highest levels of software development, I can promise you that those four years in college, they're not wasted. Not at all. It's just that you, as a, as a self-taught person, if you want to get to the same level, you're just putting it somewhere else. It's the same time, same knowledge, same process, all of that stuff. It's just that you're going to have to get get that information somewhere else. Or you can, of course, just do the like the low end stuff uh, in software development. But you, on average, what people are looking for when they start a career in software development is to become strong software developers that can work in all the different companies and you know not just get into some companies who don't really have a good understanding of what good software developers look like. Have a great day.